This video will demonstrate some of the basic steps to installing and using an Evenflow Embrace infant car seat and the vehicle belt system. Before you start, you must read the owner's manuals for your car seat and your vehicle. This video clip only demonstrates some of the steps to a correct installation. Before using your Embrace carrier, you must read the installation section of your owner's manual beginning on page 27. To secure your child in the seat, Place your Embrace car seat on the floor facing you. Press the harness release button on the front of the seat and pull upward on the two harness straps. Gently settle your baby into the seat and place each harness strap over his or her shoulders. The shoulder belt should be as close as possible to the baby's shoulders, but never above them. If you need help relocating the shoulder straps, please check the owner's manual. Clip both buckle tongues into the buckle. Pull up to make sure that they are latched correctly. Snap the chest clip together and slide it up the shoulder harness until it is at the baby's armpit level. Your baby is ready to travel, so let's go out to the car. The first step is to decide where your child will travel. Never place a child in the front seat with an active airbag. Your child is safest when placed in the back seat. The next step to installing any car seat is to understand what type of belt system your vehicle has. Your vehicle owner's manuals may offer guidance. There are three basic types, a manual seat belt, usually found in the center position in a rear seat, an automatic locking retractor, and an emergency locking retractor. Locking retractors are always pulling the belt tight. Emergency locking retractors allow the belt to be pulled out unless you hit the brakes hard. Many newer vehicles have retractors that can switch between emergency and automatic locking modes. There is usually a label on the belt near the floor. If you are not sure, you can check by pulling about two feet of the shoulder belt out, then releasing it so that about six inches returns. Now try to pull it back out. If it will not come out of the retractor, you have an automatic locking retractor. If you have an emergency locking retractor, or if your belt buckle slides freely along the belt, you will need to use a locking clip. Please review your owner's manual and our separate locking clip video for more information. Place the base on the vehicle seat where you want your baby to travel. Move the handle behind the baby's head. Make sure that you have at least one and one half inches of clearance from the back of the front seat. You can move the handle down to the stand position if you need more room. Route the vehicle lap belt through the openings on each side of the carrier. Do not put the shoulder belt through the slots. Let it lay across the vehicle seat back. Buckle the vehicle belt and check to make sure it is secure. Place your hand in the carrier between your baby's legs and push down with your full weight. Pull the lap belt adjuster or shoulder belt with your other hand to remove all slack. Check your work by trying to shift the carrier from side to side. If it moves more than one inch at the lap belt, you need to repeat the last step. If the level line on the side of the seat is not parallel to the vehicle floor, try to adjust the angle by repositioning the seat without unbuckling it. In some vehicles, you may have to place a tightly rolled towel or a small blanket beneath the front edge of the carrier to provide enough recline for the baby. This video is not intended to replace your car seat and vehicle owner's manuals. Always read and follow your owner's manuals. Thank you for choosing Evenflow. Buckle up and safe travels.